Good morning, folks. Vanuatu continues shaking. The sun is waking up a bit in the X-ray spectrum. Today's top news articles are incredible, and we've got our eyes on the weather as well. Plasma filaments incoming here along with an active region at the limb nearer to the equator. Plasma up north is lifting now. We're at spaceweathernews.com and we're checking out the last day on our star. Peripheral activity and movement remains, but we now have two items of note on the Earth-facing disk. First is up north, a filament snapped. CME appears to be going due north and produced a tsunami of fire on the sun a quarter million kilometers long and as wide as Jupiter. Filament to the south popped as well. This one may actually enter the earthbound solar wind streams but would present moderately at worst. Looking at the solar flares, eh, trying to make a little comeback here. The sunspot situation isn't that great. Small umbras departing. They do have solid beta magnetism, but they're already on their way towards the departing limb. Interestingly, the flaring mostly came from the incoming active region at the other side. Watch for the flashes of white and light pillars associated with small flare events, turning into view as we head into the weekend. Solar wind presenting a slight density rise this morning. We expect sector interaction and possible faster streams today, but thus far, we are all calm here at Earth. The culprits of those streams would be the southern coronal holes. The southern system is vast and much more powerful than the north, been making big quakes too, and they continued overnight by pounding Vanuatu yet again. Hit one a bit further east in Indonesia as well. Vanuatu is the area where those earth spots popped up this week. Three big quakes in a couple days. Cyclone moved east over the last day and has actually been delivering the worst of its flooding to Fiji. They are in a state of emergency there. Rescues are ongoing. And luckily the system is moving away from them today. Also had a quake well above average up in Greenland. Take a look at the spot there. And then when we come to the OLR, find a close proximity gradient way too strong for those high latitudes, likely related. Top news articles today starts here. Evidence for a supernova bombardment of radioactive material to Earth in the past. Read all about it here from the Carnegie Institute. Next, confirmation of a major point we struggle to get across all the time. Climate change in the past was way worse than it is now, and the technological age has benefited from a calm, kind planet that may not stay this way forever. Lastly, folks, we return to our long-standing coverage of rogue planet science. These bodies don't have a star system to call home and just dance through the frozen frontier of space, and scientists have just found one just beyond the outskirts of our solar system, and it's only 10 million years old. That has baffling consequences and may relate to planetary chaos in our system in the past. Today's weather look begins in Japan. Powerful system moved overhead and is heading out to sea today, but not before pounding the area over the last 24 hours and taking out a military jet. In a story that is being overshadowed by reports of a very warm month of March, April is kicked off with many record cold temperatures in the northeastern U.S. Lots of low temperature marks were broken and it's slated to continue the next couple of days as another low bounces into the area and on its western edge will drive the freeze heading into the weekend. Flood risks in New England tonight. Folks, there is a ton of free material on suspiciousobservers.org to help you catch up with 260,000 observers in a flash. If you want to dig deeper, membership is only $4 per month and it supports these free programs and all our other research. We'll go quickly cross the pond and run through Europe's weather forecast for the coming 18 hours, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.